All right, now we're going to look at a quick optimization problem. So here we have a cardboard box without a lid is to have a volume of 32,000 centimeter cubic. We want to find the dimension that minimize the amount of cardboard used. So, so imagine you have a box like this. So we want to create this box. Now, of course, the top is going to be open. So let's draw it. So here's our box. So something like that. So maybe I'm going to try to redraw the edges. So here is the edge. OK. And uh, let's draw the behind. so that you have a better visual idea of what this is. So we know the there's no top. So this is going to be open top box. The volume of this box, it's going to be 32,000 cubic centimeter. Let's put some dimension in this. So let's call this X, this is Y, and this height will be Z, which means the volume is gonna be the length times width times height. So we'll have X times Y times Z equals to 32,000. Now let's go ahead and solve this for Z. So Z is going to be 32,000 divided by X, Y. Now hold off to this. We're gonna hold on until we get our surface area. So this is going to be your helping equation, or you can call it constraint equation of the uh, function that we're going to optimize. In this case, we're going to minimize the area, surface area function. So we want to find the dimension that will minimize the amount of cardboard use. So we want to know the area of each of these surfaces, except for the top. So our surface area function, let's call it surface area, it's going to be S, um, S and this is going to be equal to, let's um, find what are the dimension we need. So we need the bottom. So that will be X times Y. So that's this right here. That's the bottom of this uh, box. Plus, now we need uh, sides. So we have this side right here and also the back side right here. So they will have same dimension. So X times Y, uh, sorry, Y times Z, that's two of those. So you got two times Y, Z. Plus, now we also have the front and the back. Now, remember this is Z. So that means the, the, the front, side and the back will have the same dimension. So that's going to be two of those x times z. So 2xz. Now this is our function. Now you want to make this a function of two variables, rather three. So we're going to have to go ahead and replace the z from this right here. So you have a function of two variables. So by replacing that into this equation, our surface area s of xy, it's going to be expressed as xy plus 2y times z, z is 32,000 over x times y, plus 2x times, again, z is replaced with the equation above, 32,000 over x times y. And now once we do that, we can simplify. Now this is our function we wanna uh, take the partial derivative of. So our s of xy is simply equal to xy, plus 32,000 times two, that's 64, thousand and here y is going to simplify out so it'll cancel you'll have over x and then plus for the last term we're going to have again another 64 thousand over now here x will cancel out so you'll have over y now let's take its partial derivative and then those are going to be our critical points when we set them equal to zero so we're going to compute s sub x and S sub y, partial derivative respect to x and y, set them to zero to get the critical numbers. So let's see what this is going to be. So the partial of s respect to x, so that's going to give us, so we're going to take the partial derivative of each term respect to x. So for this one, we're going to get y. For the second, we're going to get negative 64,000 over x squared. And then of course, this is just gonna be treated as a constant, so that's zero. And then we set this equal to zero. So that's gonna give us, um, if you isolate it, you'll have y is equal to 64,000 over x squared. All right, let's hold on to that. Now let's take the partial derivative of s respect to y. 
Now here we're going to take the derivative of this respect to y. So this is going to be constant, that's zero. We take the derivative of the rest. So that will be y, well, partial derivative uh, uh, s respect to y. So this is going to be x, because x is treated as a constant, minus 64,000 over y squared. And then we set it to zero to get a critical number. And this will give us x is equal to 64,000 over y squared. All right, now we can do some substitution. Now, these are the two equations we're going to work with to solve for x and y. And once we have them, we'll plug it into our helping equation to get the z component. So we're pretty much done with the problem because our minimum will occur at the critical numbers. So let's go ahead and take the first one. And um, we can simply plug that in to uh, the second equation, or we can take the second one, plug it into the first one. So I'm going to go ahead and take y is equal to 64,000 divided by x squared. Well, x is this number right here. So I'm going to substitute that. So you're going to get um, 64,000 over y squared squared. So that's what it looks like. And then with some simplification, this is going to give us um, y to the fourth over 64,000 by simplifying. That's where y is equal to. And then we can move everything to one side. So let's go ahead and move everything to one side. So that's going to give us 64,000 times y minus y to the fourth equals to zero. And then continue solving so we can factor out in y. That's going to give us 64,000 minus y cubed is equal to zero. So y is equal to zero. Well, we don't want that one because that uh, wouldn't create a box since we're looking for dimension. Um, that means our y value has to be 64,000 minus y cubed equals zero. And then when you solve for it, you're going to get y cubed is equal to 64,000, which gives us y is equal to the cube root of 64,000. And that's going to give us a nice number, y is equal to 40. So this is our uh, dimension for the y, of course, centimeters. Now, if y is equal to this, what is x? So x is right here. We're going to go ahead and now find the x value. That will be the... Um, dimension for x. So let's go ahead and plug that in here. So we know y that's 40,000. So x is going to be 64,000 divided by 40 uh, squared. So if you simplify that, you're going to get 40 for x as well, centimeter. So now since we know x and y, now how do we find z? We go back to our helping equation because that's how we got the z value z is equal to 34,000 divided by x times y. So our dimension for z, what has to be uh, 32,000 divided by x, that's 40, and y, that's also 40. And this will simplify to uh, 32,000 divided by 1,600. And then if you simplify this, you're going to get 20 centimeter. So there you have it. Your uh, measures are going to be these. Y is equal to that. X is equal to this. And Z is equal to that. That will minimize the use of cardboard to create this open box.